Hi, so Marcy Dixon here, and I am coming to you to simplify and minimize your makeup, okay? If you are over 50, I'm 60, almost 61, and this cream foundation system is game-changing. It's Saint. I am an artist with Saint, so I would love to work with you, and we're going to just do my favorite way to apply this 3D foundation system. I love a barely there, very natural, not too um, made up, not a ton of coverage. I like to see my natural skin show through, even all my imperfections. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate today. This is the Shape brush. It's actually on sale. And then these, I would help choose the, these colors for you, okay? So I need to color match you. But we're going to start off with contour because I find that most of us women, I had never contoured before. I was very intimidated by it. So I love to start with contour first to show you how easy it is. And I want you to think about the number three. So basically you're going to draw a number three on your face. You're gonna hit the forehead, the cheekbone, and the jawline. And again, this is a barely there, not a lot of coverage, not too dramatic look today. We can do more coverage another day. And again, this is the shape brush. I um, love this brush for the barely there application. This is, we're not going to layer our foundation or our makeup. Uh, we're just going to simply place the contour on our face and then we're not going to put anything else over top of it. So you've got a backwards three on both sides of your face. All right, easy peasy, same brush. We're gonna move on to another color. This is going to be called your, this is your, your main foundation. This is going to be the color that's going to be closest to your skin. It may not look like that though in the tin or online. So trust the process. Uh, it's important that you send me a really good makeup free selfie with all your imperfections and you can smile. <laughs> you can smile in the picture that you send me. So I'm just swirling the same brush, same end. Oh, my heater came on, sorry. Around, I'm gonna turn it off. Into your main highlight and then swirl it onto your skin. And you can make the funny faces like I do to make sure I'm giving it, getting it evenly distributed on my face. Okay, so not going over my contour area, making sure that I miss that area. I'm going to even put a little bit under my eyes. Again, nice light hand. Be gentle on our skin. And I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit, swirl in lightly, a little bit above this forehead, or this forehead, this eyebrow and that eyebrow below the contour. Now, I know a lot of people are not gonna see my forehead, but you just never know. All right, next, I am going to flip the same brush over. I'm gonna use the smaller end, and I actually am going to swirl in between my main highlight and my brightening highlight, just because this is a really bright highlight, and I might not want that dramatic of a shade change. So I'm just gonna swirl. You can, uh, most of the time, I'm going to suggest a color that's not gonna be quite that big of a difference in shade. And so you can just use that, okay? And you're just going to place it on the inner corner of your eye and the outer corner of your eye. We're not gonna do that big V or pie shape underneath. So again, I'm swirling. You can experiment. That's the beauty of this makeup is there is no rules. I will give you lots of tips and tricks that you can try and we're all different. Um, but there's no rules, so it's so much fun. Now I'm gonna go ahead and swirl again, and this is our T-zone area. So we're gonna bring brightness to the middle of our, our face. So got a little T-zone, taking it down the nose, Cupid's bow, and chin, okay? And, and since this is a cream, this is very forgiving. If you get too much, or if it's settling into fine lines and wrinkles, you can always tap, 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 use your ring finger very gently, or you can use a different brush or a perfecter sponge and remove any excess. Okay, so ladies, that's your foundation. Three simple colors, placing it in three different places, no layering necessary, We're ready to go with lip and cheek. I went ahead and did an eyeshadow look really quick today. You wouldn't have to do an eyeshadow look. Another day, I'll show you how easy it is to take just these three colors with your lip and cheek and even do your eyes with it, okay? So this color I chose because it's scary. And you're gonna look at that and be like, there's no way I'm putting that on my face. So I'm like, yes, we are. We're gonna put it on our face. This is a favorite color of many, many ladies. Comes off very, comes off a lot lighter, right? On your lips. It's called Black Cherry and it's a gloss. And it's one of my favorites. So I had to share one of my favorites. Now, 
if you're watching this and you're as intrigued as I was when I first found this makeup by Saint, all you need to do if you're curious about your colors and you think you want to give this a try, all you need to do is text me the word match at 865-217-1511 and I can color match you and suggest the colors that are going to be just perfect for you. Virtually is the is the best way, very effective. I've color matched a lot of ladies. I love to do it and I'd love to be able to work with you and give you a little bit of glow, a little bit of confidence and to just make you love your routine makeup. Cause I know as we've gotten more mature, our skin has changed and maybe we need different makeup. So again, oh, we gotta remember to set your makeup. So it's really important. Uh, I use our setting spray by Saint. I'm going to spritz it on my brush. You can spritz it on your face. You could spritz it on a perfector sponge, uh, beauty blender, but we need to make sure we set our makeup. So you could choose to set it with a setting spray like I did, or you can also um, use a powder. We have a translucent powder that's a setting powder called Vanilla Dust, or you can even mix the two, okay? So whatever, but it does, it's really important. This makeup can stay all day long. It has great staying power, but we do need to make sure that we use a setting powder or setting spray, one of the two. I'm gonna let it dry and you're gonna be good to go. All right, I hope you uh, enjoyed this, found it informative, found it helpful, and make sure you let me know if you wanna get color matched. I would love to help you. Cheers.